Hello, my fire friends. I hope you're doing wonderful today. Thank you for joining me for another group session. So if you're Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, these messages will be for you. Now friends, if you haven't been to a group session before, all good. Just understand not all messages are resonate, and that's totally cool. If you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. And of course, friends, if you like these messages, please don't forget to support me so I can keep supporting you. Whether it's a like or a share or subscribe or following, I'm happy to have you with me. Thank you. So, fire signs. Today we're going to go to your angels and ancestors and find out what messages are here in your best good. Because a lot of us have been going through some heavy stuff right now. So I think it's best to hear our uh, guidance directly from the source, straight from our angels, straight from our ancestors. So, fire signs, fire signs. What do our angels and ancestors want us to know right now? Angels and ancestors for our fire signs. What do our fire signs need to do right now? What's going on with our fire signs? Angels and ancestors, there it is. Wow, I love when this card comes out. It's so like, wow, I just, I wanna say it's so rich, it's so wise, it's so amazing. Wise one, grow within your current situation. Mm-hmm, look at this. And two of my favorite wingets, the owl and the crow, right here with us. Now when this card shows up, it is asking you to use your inner power. It's asking you not to go to your physical senses, not to go to your brawn, but to go here, right? The best fighter is never angry. This card is asking you to really kind of Stay committed to your task, to stay focused on what is right for you, not to get distracted by drama or other little things that might be going on, okay? This is a lovely card, check it out, right? So much wisdom, so much love, so much calming energy and clarity, okay? This is about when you are in a tough time to, again, stay calm, keep moving forward and use your wisdom and your calm energy to solve issues, not getting all excited, okay? Wow. You know, and even with the owl and the crow showing up for me, there's always two messages there. For owl, it's always about coming back to your own innate wisdom and your clairvoyance. So if you have a feeling that something's gonna happen or that something's likely gonna happen, listen to yourself, you're probably right. And the other message here with crow energy showing up is about change and transformation, okay? Some things, and especially when things are a little um, shifty or heavy right now, which might be for you because you're being called to use your wisdom and to stay calm, then and there's probably a lot of changes coming your way and many times changes are good, right? Right, so let's take a look at the details a little bit more. Fire signs, please, what's the main situation happening for our fire signs? Fire signs, please, their energy right now. Their energy right now, fire signs, boom, there it is. Damn, all right, six of swords. So already this is a lovely card of calming energy, okay? Because even though this kind of looks like you're moving away from something, this is about knowingly moving away from something. This is a card of choice and action and choosing to go in a different way, okay? This isn't about running away from something and being all hush-hush. This is about you knowing what's right for you and making changes, okay? So many of you might be making changes because whatever's going on in your environment is too heavy, okay? And it doesn't matter. This situation could be different for everybody. Whether it's romantic, whether it's family, whether it's career, whether it's whatever it is, okay? So this is telling me that you know that there's something better for you and you are taking action steps to move move away from it and move to what you want. What's getting in the way? What's the trouble? What's the challenge right now for our fire signs? What's the challenge right now for our fire signs? Here. Temperance. <laughs> now, isn't this a fire sign problem, right? Hashtag fire signs problems. Patience, right? <laughs> I know, I know. So when patience or the temperance card comes out as a blockage, okay, this is telling me that you already know, like we talked about, where you wanna go and you're already starting to take some action steps to get you there. But Rome wasn't built in a day, fire signs, and I know, I know, you're like chomping at the bit, like get me out of here, I'm ready to go yesterday. This card is telling me that there is going to be an evolution to the changes that are going on right now, okay? Again, wise ones. Sometimes this transformation
transformation doesn't come overnight. If you want it to transform into the right timeline or into the right situation for you, you have to be willing to be flexible and to go with the flow, okay? And again, this is a card of staying calm and staying connected and using your intuition to move forward, not necessarily just looking, looking at all the tangible things in front of you and choosing what makes sense logically. There's really some pieces here about waiting to see how things roll out, okay? Wow, okay. So, what about stability? What about stability for our fire signs? What can we do to bring stability into our lives while we're feeling that things are possibly a little bit shaky or while we're trying in the process of moving away from what's not serving us here? What do we need to do to bring in more stability for our fire signs? Here we go. Okay. So, I mean, obvious, obvious, obvious person would say, right? Five of swords in reverse, cut the drama, ditch the drama, don't fight with people. Don't show up to the party if you know that someone's gonna be there ready to fight, okay? Many of us have situations in our lives, whether it's people, whether it's places, whether it's bad habits that we have ourselves, okay? Many times we have the choice whether or not to engage. And these cards, especially this one, in terms of stability is saying, do not engage in the fight, stand back, okay? Just like the wise one, and something that I already said with this card, the best fighter's never angry, right? You can prove your point by not showing up. You can prove your point anyways by not being involved in the thick of the drama. I'm gonna pull a clarifying card on this just to see if there's any other information. What's this five of swords for our fire signs, please? What's this five of swords for our fire signs? More specific, this came screaming out. Yeah, okay, three of wands in reverse. So whatever it is that you're fighting with, whatever it is that you know, you're know you trying to solve or other people are bringing drama to you, you're not leaving the situation, okay? So as much as you have been trying and you're taking some action steps, like we know you're already starting to do this, which is wonderful, okay? But this is telling me sometimes you get invited into drama really well, so 100%. And you know, sometimes people do it on purpose. They like poke you or they like, they know something's gonna irritate you, so they do it on purpose just to get a rise out of you. So this is absolutely telling you fire signs. And fire signs are full of the fire. I get it, I'm a fire sign, okay? But this is telling you don't react, don't show up and even if you anticipate something that someone's planning in the future right don't show up do not engage do not engage fire signs do not engage okay <laughs> I can't say that anymore west direction here so the near the near ooh, okay these just kind of flew out but okay okay all right I feel like there were those cards were really like a little bit of drama. There was I saw the death card, the eight of wands, I saw the knight of cups. So for some of you you're dealing with somebody who talks a good game but doesn't, you know, doesn't deliver the action. So that might have that might be messages for some of you guys there. Yeah, definitely. Lovers fell out there on the floor. Mm -hmm. So for some of you, this is definitely leaving a relationship or something that belongs in the family that you have been struggling with. Even the strength card showed up, okay? All right, so fire signs. My cards are going all crazy now for some reason. Passed for fire signs, passed for fire signs. Yeah, okay, so this just flipped up again. Eight of Cups, walking away. You already tried to leave this situation before. You tried to play nice in this situation before, but it wasn't working. You know when you try to solve a problem by, you know, you know, rising above, doing the right thing, all of that kind of stuff? This is telling me you've tried to do that before, but no matter what happens, it still gets nasty, and it's because the other people or the other situations that you're involved in are the ones bringing in the yuckiness, okay? So you've done your best to try to solve this fire signs, but you know, sooner or later, you just gotta be like, you know what? This isn't working, and it sounds like the other people on the other side don't want this to work, so why am I the only one rowing this boat, okay? Get out. Where do we focus our mind throughout all of this? Because it's tough. I get it. It's tough, fire signs. Where do we focus our mind? All right. Couple messages here. Seven of cups in reverse. So number one, when you sit in all of this energy and think about what happened in the past, think because there's definitely a past flavor for this here, okay? It doesn't have to be, but there is a past flavor. This is telling you to not dig up stuff from the past. You know, so for example, if you broke up with someone, you could go back and be like, oh, remember when they did this? Remember when they did this? Remember when we were supposed to do this, but instead they blah, 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 okay? 
when you bring up stuff from the past, this allows your brain to get overwhelmed and bring back all of the yucky feelings that you were feeling and puts it right back on your plate. And next thing you know, you're bitching and complaining about something that happened four years ago. Why? Okay, so in terms of the mind, when all these thoughts come up to say, think about this, think about this, and you're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, realize fire signs, you're doing it to yourself. This even came out with someone else that I was reading for before, the radio had, right? You do it to yourself, it's true. So friends, don't do it to yourself, right? Don't go there. Don't sift over all the stuff that didn't go right in the past and then be all bitter and nasty about it. No, don't go into it. It's in the past for a reason, right? No one's reading that story except you, right? Wow. Near future, look at that. And the Six of Cups in reverse just flew out too. Not feeling it with someone in the past, are we? Mm-hmm, all good. <laughs> all good fire signs. Okay, so if we calm our minds and stop digging up stuff for the past and stop trying to save a situation. I get it. No one wants things to go south, especially if we're looking at a relationship or family stuff, but you're not the only person at this table, but it does feel like you're the only one who's trying to resolve a problem. So if we just focus on ourselves and we don't dig into the past and we don't dig into the drama and we do not engage, do not engage fire signs, what's going to happen? Near future for our fire signs, please. What's this? All right, sweet. Knight of Wands, you become the catalyst for your own change. This is you kind of like, I'm out of here, right? <laughs> right? So this is telling me that when you start putting foot to pavement to not engage, to not bring up the past, etc., you're the person who brings in change for yourself. You're the one that starts going off in this different path that maybe looks a little bit different. And you might have to remind yourself to keep focusing in this other direction because it's easy to go back to the past. It's easy to bitch about what didn't work, work out. It's easy excuse me, it's easy to throw out your victim story there and have people feel sorry for you, but it doesn't help you move forward. This is saying leave it all behind, even though it's hard to take two new steps forward and you might be two steps forward, one step back, you have to start taking those action steps so that you get there. And this is how you're gonna transform yourself. Wow. And look at that bottom of the deck energy right now, the emperor. So this is about you coming into your power and rising above and not dealing with that other crap, right? Stay committed to the task. It will pay off, but you have to be smart here and you have to be calm here. Wow, and look at that, angel of calmness. So considering we're working with your angels and ancestors, I thought a really beautiful thing to do would be to go to the um, angels and gemstones deck. It's a new deck for me, I love this one. But let's see if there's any other angelic messages. And if there's a recommendation, this like flew out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my hand, okay? Yeah, angel of telepathy. So let's see what it says here. When I speak, people listen and understand what I'm expressing. I communicate from the heart to the hearts of others. I easily visualize and send mental pictures of my ideas, visions, opinions, and other matters of importance that I speak. Beautiful. The power behind vis visualization and telepathy is amazing, friends. Just because you don't see it doesn't mean it's not there. And you know very well that you can stand next to somebody at the bus stop or the grocery store and be like, ooh, something's going on with them, right? It's because you feel it telepathically. You feel it empathically, okay? Beautiful stone here. Tabular quartz. Now, I haven't seen tabular quartz myself, but quartz is amazing, right? Quartz is the ultimate amplifier, which is lovely. So let's see what this says. Do people listen when you speak? Do you feel like you're not being heard? Mm -hmm. Know exactly what you wish to communicate. Use telepathy to convey your messages through visualization and the imagination. Send mental pictures as you speak, heart to heart and mind to mind. So even though you might be walking away from a situation and people who aren't really working with you, maybe they're like this and they don't wanna hear it, you can visualize and send messages here to them. I don't mean like right across from them, right? You would talk to them. But let's just say you're dealing with your mother and she lives in a different city, for example, okay? so. So sit with your calm energy and send her messages that, you know, I love you, I want the situation to be solved, but I'm gonna have to keep some distance for now because whatever, okay? 
or maybe send a visual of what the solution could look like and allow this person to start to connect to what the solution could be rather than connecting to the drama, right? There's a lot of connections to drama here, but you are definitely walking away from it, fire signs. Good stuff. Fire signs, I hope these messages were helpful for you and that they resonated for what's going on with you right now. If you enjoyed this message, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you need a private session, check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. Thank you, fire signs.